Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to your math lesson. I am Miss Moran, and let's start by reviewing what we're going to learn today, okay? Today and this week, we will continue to learn about shapes. They are the 2D shapes. The shapes that we're going to be talking about is the square, and we know that the square has four sides and four vertices or four corners. We're going to talk about the triangle, which has three sides and three vertices or three corners, the circle, which has no sides and no vertices, the rectangle that has four sides and four vertices. Remember, the vertices are the points or the corners. And then also the oval, which is kind of like a stretched out circle, and it has no sides and no vertices, just like the circle, because they're, they're circular, they're round, okay? They don't have um, corners or lines. Okay, so let's start our lesson. So I'd like to start off with showing you a video of the book, The Shape of Things. It's written by Dale and Dot. And you have to pay attention to this story. It has different shapes. Let's see if you can find them, okay? The Shape of Things by Dale and Dot. Illustrated by Julie Laker. Look at all those shapes. The Shape of Things. A square is just a square until you add a roof, two windows, and a door. Then it's much, much more. A circle is just a circle until you add some lights. Chairs high and low, round and round they go. A triangle is just a triangle until you add another. An ocean and a sky, a seagull passing by. A rectangle is just a rectangle until you add some more. An engine and a track, a red caboose in the back. An oval is just an oval until you add a nest. A wooden house. And then a patient mother hen. A diamond's just a diamond until you add some string, wind, and a tail, some friends to help it sail. A shape is just a shape, but look again and see. Can you see all the different shapes? I see triangle. Circle, see a diamond, see all different kinds of shapes. There are shapes of every kind. How many can you find? Let's count together. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. There's a whole bunch. How many did you find? Let me know. The end. Okay, so I hope you like the little story. And for your homework, you're going to do something very similar. So the book might have given you some ideas. We're going to use shapes. To draw different things so let me show you a couple of examples all right so today you're going to need paper and pencil okay so you're going to need paper and pencil i'm using a marker so that you can see very good but you're going to use different shapes uh to make uh, a drawing of something for example if i use a circle and if i use an upside down triangle i can make an ice cream cone ice okay or if I can also use a circle and draw some lines to it and then it looks like a what it looks like a sun all right here's another one I could use a square and a rectangle and a triangle and little squares and what did I make? A house. Okay, 
So that's what I want you to do for your homework today. I want you to uh, use different shapes to draw something. And then your mom can write either in Spanish or in English what you drew. So I used a square and a triangle and rectangles and squares to make a house. And I did a circle to do a sun. I also did a circle and an upside down triangle to make an ice cream cone. So you can do that. Just don't use this. Don't use this ones because I already showed them to you. Think about something new that you can make. And you can also go back and look at the book to get ideas. All right, so let's just review real quickly what we learned today. Okay, so today um, we talked about shapes. Let me move my face out of the way. So shapes, and we looked at a book where it had different shapes of square, triangle, circle, rectangle, and ovals. And we looked at its sides and vertices to recognize that shape. And for our homework, we're going to use those shapes to make new things or real life things. Like I did the sun with the circle and the house with the square and the, and the triangle and the rectangle as a door. And which other one did I make? Oh, um, the ice cream cone. I did a, an upside, upside down triangle with a circle to make an ice cream cone. So we are still learning about shapes and I hope you enjoy the book. I hope you enjoy this activity. Draw it, tell your mom to write on the bottom what you, uh, what you drew with the shape and send us the picture for your homework, okay? I will see you tomorrow and you have a nice day. Bye-bye.